Hi there. Um, I wanted to quickly show you how we can remove a background really easily because that was definitely a limitation that a lot of you were experiencing in style. So I want to go ahead and just kind of show you one additional um, little function that we can do in print um, and then bring it back into style, especially for when you're creating um, inspiration boards and um, taking images off the web. So you're going to go into um, Kaleido um, print. Um, so it has like a little, um, a little, I don't know, canvas and paintbrush and all that cuteness. So what you have to do, you can't use kind of the copy and paste function that we can easily use in style and print. So what you're going to have to do is actually import an image. So let's say you um, got an image off of the web. You'll want to save as, save it to, you know, maybe a folder in your jump drive or if you save it to the desktop, it obviously will be deleted every time you log off. So where I'm going to go to, I've already gotten my image um, online and I've already saved it um, to a drive. So I'm just going to go into file and you need to go into insert. Um, you'll find it in your um, in your drive that you saved it um, and it can be sorry guys <laughs> I'm trying to find it I clearly have too many files on here oh my goodness sorry y'all Here we go. Okay. So I, let's say I just want to have these lips. Okay. First, I want to take a look here and see how the resolution is 72. Let's just go ahead and switch it over to 300 before we even bring it into style. So um, you can just go ahead and go into this um, adjust document, adjust to document resolution. And um, I think by default, print is just set at 300. So you can one, just click this and it'll automatically see how it switched from 72 um, DPI to 300. You can also do your right click and switch, you know, change any image resolution here in the resolution and switch it to 300. So you can do it either one of those ways. So I just am wanting the lips. Um, so what I will do is essentially there's like an edge finder, which is kind of like the magic wand in Photoshop. So you come up here, it's called the edge finder. Um, and I guess you could do control W to try to find it, but you just do the edge finder. So I want the background to be deleted. So all of this yellow. So again, what the edge finder does is kind of like that magic wand in Photoshop, whatever you click, it's going to just search around for all like colors. So if this had multiple colors, I would have to select this multiple time and delete, but this image just has all yellow. So I can just click the yellow. It's going to select everything that's yellow and then I can just delete it. Now I know you still have this and you can go ahead and delete this, but I'm going to go ahead and just crop because this is really easy. I can just crop this out once I get into style. So I'm going to go back into my um, selection tool. I'm going to select it. So now I can just do control C copy and I can come back into style and do control V. And you'll want to go ahead and reduce the image definition. So here's, you know, I have my image, it's in here, it's in the 300 DPI. And now I'm just going to quickly crop, I'm actually just going to crop this so it's nice and tight. Crops it out. And now you can do all the things that you have learned in style. So you can scale it, you can, you know, recolor it. You can do whatever you need to do in order to kind of clip it onto your inspiration board. So hopefully this has helped. Um, all right. Thanks. Bye.